Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Energy First Golf. In this video today, we're going to talk about club head speed. As you all know from our previous video, we talked about swing path, club head speed, and face angle. Club head speed is the second most important. So, club head speed. The truth is, swing path and club head speed kind of worked in hand in hand but from a teaching perspective if we want to teach you something from a beginner perspective when you're learning something you have to know what it's more important so swing path means your body rotation to rotate your body to create energy and rotate with a sequence and that's more important so if you do it with correct sequence the club is going to follow your body. It's going to create correct swing path. Now, why are you doing that? Obviously, the club head is traveling with a speed, right? Now, when you first learn it, when you're doing it, I highly recommend you do it very slowly because you got all this stuff you have to think about. How do you turn your body? How do you downswing? What's your downswing sequence? And what is your release? You can do it very slowly. So now, if you are doing it very slowly, which means your club has speed, it's going to be slow. Which is fine, because you're working on something. So let me show you what I mean by that, right? So I'm going to set up, and then I'm, doing, I'm going to load my body, and turn my hips, turn my core, right? And get to a top of the swing position based on body rotation. And then I'm going to downswing with a sequence. And then I'm going to turn my body. And I'm going to keep rotate and rotate my arms. So as you can see, why I'm doing that, the club head is traveling pretty slow. So, if you can do that movement smoothly, correctly, through practice, with a lot of hard work, you will absolutely create what? Faster club head speed. Now remember, whatever your center speed is, means your center rotational speed, it's going to lead this club head much faster. Right, which leads to we have been talking about energy first, which is a very effortless energy, or well, I know a lot of people will say that um, effortless power, but what we like to use is effortless energy. So you can see if I'm traveling in here, my center rotation because it's like a we talked about 3D, it's like a loop or a vertex. So my center speed is going at, say, one mile per hour. My perimeter speed is not going to be one mile per hour. Say, for example, right now, if I have a rope or a whip, if I do this, even though I do it very slowly here, but the perimeter speed, the accelerated speed of the tip, it's going to be a lot faster. So you can see that's the reason why a correct golf swing, it's very, now I'm going to use the word power, very powerful from center. And you're creating a lot of perimeter speed, means outside speed, or means your club head speed. Right? So, I'm going to do it one more time. This time I'm going to do it a little bit faster. So, I'm going to go to the top. So you can see, even though it doesn't feel like I'm moving very fast here, but the club head speed is much quicker. So what happened is all of these big muscles here, your big muscles, your quadricep, your gluteus maximus, your abdominal muscles, your obliques, all those muscles are going to help you build sensitivity. Okay? The truth is, 
in the long run, when we talk about the second stage, when we talk about speed and distance control, it's all about speed from here, controlling distance. Because whatever speed here represents something here. But are they the same speed? No, they're different speed. But you can only know how your body is performing and what your body is doing. All right? So that's club head speed. The truth is, you can train it to do it very slow when you chip or when you hit driver very fast. Okay? So now, just so I want to reiterate why we don't talk about face angle. Because remember, from a learning and teaching perspective, there's got to be correct order of things. If right now I tell you to focus on square the face, make sure you make contact, then you will neglect all the body movement to create what? Center speed. If your center speed is slow, even though you can say I'm going to use a lot of power from here, and then even though you feel like you have speed, but it's an incorrect energy. It's a two-dimensional speed. And that's the reason why you're not going to be consistent. And the most important thing is that you're not going to have correct control. Again, you can always play golf hitting the ball. But are you able to develop? Are you able to learn? Are you able to improve? That's what a correct teaching system is going to help you. With Energy First Golf, we don't give you quick tips because there's no such thing as quick tips that's going to help you in the long run. You have to build foundations based on energy first and impact later. Impact later just means we don't worry about the face angle because you can see any beginner who's learning golf right now, if they're thinking think about hitting the ball, yeah, they can still hit the ball and the ball is going to go out. But it doesn't mean they're applying a through motion. You know, we all know the cliche, they swing through the ball. So are you swinging through the ball or are you making sure that your body's creating a lot of power and force? Just make sure you hit it. But there's not a penetrated speed that's getting through the ball. With penetrated speed, that's how you can control the direction, the distance. But by hitting it, by using a lot of power hitting it, you can still make contact and the ball still will go. But you don't have a continuous penetrative movement. So that is the difference between a golf hit and a golf swing. Just like say right now, you have a, if I have a ball in my hand right now, I'm thinking about my energy that's output. Because remember, we talked about how we're not worried about trying to hit the ball because the ball is already in your hand. And the truth is, when you play golf, the ball is actually in your hand, but of course it's not. But it's in your possession. Okay, no one's going to take it. So you got to swing through it, not worry about hitting it, and then hoping it goes somewhere. Okay? And the truth is, if I'm swinging the golf, uh, a ball right now, I don't worry about if the ball is in my hand or not. If I do some kind of spin, I'm going to hold the ball a little bit differently, which we're going to talk about face angle in the next video. All right? So um, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment, let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on this button. And we also have here two recommended video for you to watch. All right. See you next time.